Uh, when you're using colorimeter, first thing you want to think about is warming it up. Uh, plug it in, turn it on, um, and let it sit for about five minutes. To... Uh, the colorimeter has four LEDs that create four different colors. And what they do is they the light shines from the LED through a cuvette. And when the light passes through the cuvette to the detector, the detector measures how much light actually passes through the cuvette. And then the software calculates, well, how much of that light then was absorbed by the solution. What we would like is we would like the initial reading when there's, when there's just uh, the solvent in there to read zero. So I'm gonna take a cuvette and I'm going to fill it three quarters of the way full with water. And I'm gonna put a cap on it. The cuvette has two sides that are clear and two sides that are fluted. The fluted sides are for you to hold. The clear sides are the sides through which the light should pass. I'm gonna make sure that they're nice and clean. So I wanna line that up so that the clear sides are gonna be where the light is passing. I'm gonna close the door on the cuvette. And then I'm going to observe the, the absorbance reading here. We want that reading to be zero. Should that reading not be zero, right there on the colorimeters, there's a button that says Cal. I'm going to push that. And what that's going to do is that's going to adjust the software and the, and the electronics to measure the maximum amount of light passing through the, the water in this case. And the absorbance should be zero at that wavelength. I'm going to take that cuvette out. I'm going to create a cuvette. So I'm going to fill that cuvette about three quarters of the way full with this green solution. Examine the cuvette and make sure there's no bubbles in there. If there are bubbles, tap the cuvette gently on the counter and that should dislodge the bubbles. Actually, I need to start collecting data. I'm looking at the meter and I'm waiting for the value to stabilize. When it is stabilized, I'll tap keep and I'll type in the wavelength. In this case, it's the very first one on the colorimeter, which is 430 nanometers. And I'll keep that point. Once you've finished all the readings that you want to do for a run, then you can tap stop.